Hey, welcome back amazing hacker. So for this one, I asked you to find which functionality you can execute while you're not logged in. So for this one, of course, first of all, if you found the weak admin credentials, we need to log out. And now I need to find what I'm supposed to be able to do or what I'm able to do that I'm not supposed to be able to do. Now for that, I'm actually going to go back into my admin panel because I want to know what the difference is between a logged in user and an unauthenticated user. Now there are several ways that I can do about this, but I can, I'm going to show you the manual way right now because this is the way that I actually prefer it. I don't like automatic things. I don't know why it's not an elitism thing. I just don't like it. I'm more of a functional tester. So that's what I'll be demonstrating as well in here. So of course I have the edit functionality. Let's see if I can edit a post while I'm not supposed to be able to do that and I'm just going to start up my private browser for that. I'm going to navigate to the URL and I'm going to go to the login page. So that one is good. Then I can also of course test the delete functionality. Now this one is a little bit trickier because once I delete a fun an item I can never delete it again. So I'm going to have to intercept my traffic here in Burp Suite and I'm going to have to replace the authentication token, the headers. I'm going to have to replace them to make it seem like this request is coming from my logged out user. I'm just going to remove any authentication headers that I find in there. So that's also something that we can try for. And of course, as you can see here in the admin panel, there's the edit, there's the delete, there's a create new post button. Now that's something we can try as well. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste that and we have our solution. As you guys can see, I'm able to post posts, which I'm not supposed to be able to do as a logged out user. So pretty simple in here, but I'm just going to copy and paste all of the URLs over and you don't need to use private browser. Things like uh, containers exist for Firefox, which is a pretty nice plugin. There are many different things that you can do around this. Uh, you can open different browsers, but just try to do this type of thing, not only with a logged out user, but also with users from different privileged levels. For example, if there was a normal user level on here and not just an administrator, and the normal user cannot edit posts, then you should try to edit posts as a normal user as well, of course. If a new user cannot create new posts within the first 24 hours of registering or something like that, you should always try that kind of stuff, you know. So I hope that helped you. Thank you guys so much. You guys are freaking amazing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers.